The ever-graceful Joe Skirm, everybody. Uh, so I'm a big fan of comic books. I love superheroes. I actually came up with my own superhero. His name is Superfluous. His powers are super redundancy, flight and super redundancy. Also, he can fly. I pitched the idea to DC Comics, but they said they already have a character like that. All of them. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I kind of worry sometimes I'm a bit of an asshole to my friends. Like, uh, my, my one friend called me and he was saying, dude, I'm just feeling really depressed. It's like my life is this never-ending cycle of pain and despair. And I said, that's not true. You'll die eventually. <laughs> cycle over. <laughs> I, I was riding the bus the other day and this girl said, you know, my grandma just died. And it's really ironic because my aunt died two weeks ago. And I said, that's not irony. Then she turned away from her friend and she was like, do I know you? And I was like, no. And I went back to playing Angry Birds on my phone. <laughs> uh, I think uh, Spencer's Gifts is the most awkward store in the world because it's the only place where you can buy a blow-up doll and stand in line behind a little girl getting a Cookie Monster hat. <laughs> I, was get I was getting this for my friend and I just found myself in between her and this little boy who was just enamored with the fake poop. I mean, it was brown and squishy and just everything he ever wanted out of life. So I'm sitting there just hating myself and thinking, don't look at it, don't look, talk to me, don't talk to me, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. Hey, what's that? Fuck! <laughs> Whatever happened to Stranger Danger? I like Stranger Danger because it means I don't have to talk to your fucking kids. <laughs> and she's like, well, what's that? Um, it's, it, it's, a, it's a doll. Haha, <laughs> it's a doll. You play with dolls. No, I don't. Shut up. <laughs> well, if you don't play with it, what do you do with it? It's a, it's a grown-up doll. What do you do with a grown-up doll? Gr grown-up stuff. What, what kind of grown-up stuff? You fuck it, okay? You fuck the doll. It's a doll for fucking. <laughs> then Poop Boy's mom was pissed. She's like, you can't talk to your daughter like that. Step off, bitch. I just met her. <laughs> Not the right thing to say, by the way, because Poop Boy's dad was big. <laughs> Uh, I never understood why so many people have a problem with gay people. I mean, according to my high school girlfriend, you're still a virgin if it's up the butt, so if anything, God should love them more. <laughs> like some people are like, you know, in Leviticus it says it's an abomination. In Leviticus it says mixed weave shirts are an abomination. God was saying a lot of crazy shit back then. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was on the sauce. If you don't think God drinks, how do you explain the platypus? Is it a beaver? Is it a duck? Well, no, it's a platypus, but... <laughs> uh, I, I was sick recently, and when, when I get sick, I just get miserable. I just hate everything. And while, when, I, when I was getting this cough drop, I was unwrapping it, and I noticed, like, printed on the wrapper were these little phrases meant to pet me up. And that just pissed me off more. <laughs> it's like, impress yourself today. I'm going to spend the day in bed leaking mucus. Thank you very much. You can beat this. You don't know that. <laughs> you don't know my struggle, Halls. <laughs> but now I hate those things. I, these meaningless platitudes people give. I just fucking hate them. One, one time an old lady told me, every hurt down here is a hug in heaven, and I punched her in the face. <laughs> it's just another hug in heaven. Come on. <laughs> I'm, uh, I realized recently that I'm not cool. I know most of you have already realized this, but it took me a few years. And I figured it out when a friend of mine offered me weed and I just didn't understand the slang he was using. He was like, yo, man, you want some plants? Yeah, I guess the place could use a little sprucing up. I mean, bring a little color in. That'd be nice. No, nah, man, plants. Yeah, I know what plants are. I've seen HGTV. You're not special. But I realized what I need is a drugosaurus. That's a drug thesaurus, not a drug dinosaur, even though that'd be really cool. <laughs> Look at my hands. They're so tiny. I'm Eli Plaskett, thanks.